的确啊，知识储备丰富、应试能力优异，早已经不再是当今社会对于人才的要求。培养孩子具备独立思考和自主创新的能力，才是素质教育的重要内容。美国纽约花园学校以“小班学习出人才”而著称。我们一起去看一看这里的教育模式都有什么特点。Well, I, I wouldn't be in the position I am now if it wasn't for this school. I feel that he has gotten all the key. Tools that he needs to be successful academically,、um, emotionally. 不论是已经毕业的罗南，还是在读高中生的家长萨罗，说起纽约花园学校，都是感激不尽。这是一所私立学校，坐落在纽约皇后区，囊括了学前班到高三的基础教育，在校学生三百余人，每个班的学生人数最高不会超过十五人。校长理查德·马罗塔博士告诉记者：“严格控制班级人数是保证每个学生得到关注的必要条件。” If our goal, which it is, is to cultivate success in each one of these students, in order to do that, we need to know who they are. And in sm with small classes, with a lot of attention being paid, we could cultivate their individual strengths. We could see if they need to do something, if they need to get involved in an activity. My son was, you know. Maybe he didn't always raise his hand. After a period of time, they're going to want to raise their hand. They draw the children out and they make them confident. They build their confidence. Luo Nan 表示，自己虽然不是班上最聪明的学生，但是自己擅长踢足球的优势被老师发现。最后，他凭借着足球特长，顺利拿到了大学的奖学金。So I might not have gotten the best grades, but because of my、um, athleticism as well as my willingness to Push myself. As as long as they were there, they always were going to help. 虽然每位老师的专业背景不同，但是他们对学生都发自内心的关爱，这对每一个孩子的良好性格的养成起到了关键作用。I was quite difficult, but they were very lenient and they were very understanding, and they gave you that personal experience that. It's okay. You can come to us to talk to us. If there was ever trouble outside of school, I could always come to the school for help. 谈到成功和成才，每个人有着不一样的定义。拥有财富和社会地位，或许会被和成功划等号，但是社会对人才的定义和以往已大不同。不论是家长还是教育学者们，都更关注一个孩子全面的发展。I think each child, of course, has strengths and weaknesses. Their success. Is to be find out how to be the most productive that can be with their life, and、um, have a fulfilling life and be successful in all areas. 近年来啊，中国教育改革的步伐明显加快，但是呢，基础教育仍然在素质教育和应试教育之间摇摆着。早在二零一四年，国务院就提出将综合素质评价作为学生毕业和升学的重要参考，这就是鼓励学生走出提山和卷海。培养更多的创新意识和实践的能力，培养人才的模式走向全方位，素质教育才不是一句空话。好的，感谢您关注本期的新华视点，再见。